Thomas the Jazz Cat and Blixem de Bone lived next door to each other at the edge of a township called Chameleon Creek. Every day they sang the same old song. I'm so bored, bored of playing boring songs all day long. I'm oh, so I'm so tired. tired bored bored it's exhausting, boring tunes all day long. <sighs> One day, they took a break from playing the same old tune and decided to play a spot of soccer down by the creek. Blixen kicked the ball with all her might. The ball went up. The ball came down. It hit the ground and rolled towards the creek. The ball came to rest against a dull grey water pipe they'd never noticed before. Don't go there. From deep within the water pipe, they heard an extra strange and extraordinary sound. There, in the darkness, glowed a strange, luminous egg. The egg began to crack. Don't touch it, said Thomas. Look, it's growing. Look, it's glowing. And from the egg and from the glow emerged a being they didn't know. The strangest sight they'd ever seen. The strangest worm that had ever been. Saul Bona, how you do, da? Here I am again. And these are metamorphic games I play. Don't know if I can take the strain. But where are my manners? I'm so rude. Let me introduce myself to you. I'm Peter Pat, the crazy caterpillar. I make your wishes come true. The part of your mind is a magical thing. Alakazim, Alakazim, look at the wish. I make it come true. A wish? said Blixen. I've had a whisker, I've had a woof, but never a wish. I wish I could see the sea, said Thomas. To see the sea would be for me the thing to see. Are there fish fingers? asked Blixen. Is where you wish to be Of all the places you could be free Listen, repeat after me Alakazam, Alakazam The power of the mind is a magical thing Alakazam, Alakazam You make it the wish I make it come The dull grey water pipe started to shake, rattle and roll. Thomas and Blixem twirled around and around. They were flying through a rainbow at the crazy speed of sound. But where could they be going? And where could they be found? They were on the strangest coral reef they'd ever seen. Were they in a delirium? Were they in a dream? There were codfish and oddfish and oysters in socks. There were stonefish and bonefish and dolphins in frocks. They were toing and froing, but where were they going? To a matinee under the sea? So they followed the crowd, who were getting quite loud. A concert? But who could it be? Ladies and fishermen, please welcome to the Polary stage, Sting Ray Charles! <laughs> And I'm top of the bill But this game called fame Don't give me a thrill All the songs that I sing No joy do they bring Outdated, frustrated And sick to the gill Thank you very much Bravo! said Blixen En grand! said Thomas What a voice! What an act! We've got to get his autograph! We've got to get backstage Oi! said a huge leatherback turtle. Where the fish do you think you're going? Uh, uh, we just want to meet Stingray Charles. He's got the best voice this side of Chameleon Creek. 
Yeah, he's a legend in his own lunchtime. <laughs> oh, you're fans, are you? You want to meet the boss, do you? Well, I happen to be his personal bodyguard. I can organise a little visit. For a small fee, of course. Got any mackerel on you? Hey, Blexum, said Thomas. What about those fish fingers of yours? Oh, I've already finished most of them. Hand them over, said Thomas impatiently. Oh, fish fingers, said the bodyguard. Haven't had one of those since I was knee high to a lobster. Don't mind if I do. Right, this way, said the bodyguard, and led them to the starfish dressing room. Mr. Sting, Mr. Ray, Mr. Charles, sir. Couple of fans to see you. Not today, Demacalese. They've come a long way, Mr. Sting, Mr. Ray. All right, make it snappy. The door opened, and there, at his dressing room table, slumped a very sad and very salty Sting Ray Charles. What a performance, said Thomas. You're the best, said Blixem. No, I'm not. They're not my songs. I'm selling my soul for what? Other people's music. It hasn't been the same since Georgia walked out on me. But you sing such great tunes. Oh, please. Don't tune on me. And you've got such a great voice. Oh, yes. But the managers are such sharks. They just won't let me sing it my way. I'm sending out an SOS. What if we help you spice it up a bit? Asked Thomas. Yeah, like give it a bit of a swing, said Blixem. Give it a what? Give it a swing. OK, Bourne, take it from the top. Hey, Stingray Charles, it's been too long. We've done a little bit of swinging to bring it along. Come, Come join, join us now, now. we're going to show you how. We're swinging, we're swinging, and this is your song. Oh, filet, oh filet, oh filet of fish. I can't believe I'm living my wish. Oh filet, oh filet, oh filet of bream. I can't believe I'm living my dream. Scooby doo doo wah, Scooby doo wah. Yeah, rock it. Oi! Five minutes, Mr. Sink, Mr. Wright, Mr. Charles. Oh, you chaps have truly brought out the music in me. Dermachilles, tell those sharks we've got a brand new show for the next performance. Oh, I don't think that's a wise idea, Mr. Ray, Mr. Charles, Mr. Sting, sir. And tell them we've got guest artists. Ooh, we'd love to stay, Mr. Charles, said Blixem. But we've got big barn practice back at Chameleon Creek, said Thomas. Pity. But the show must go on. Oh, do feel free to scooby doo boo bop on down any time, dear hearts. Said a beaming Stingray Charles. Break the fin, Mr. Charles. Ah, the roar of the grease paint, the smell of the crowd. There won't be a dry gill in the place by the time I'm finished with them. Let the show go on. Oh, filet, oh filet, oh filet of fish. I can't believe by the Back on dry land, Blixem and Thomas shared an octopus ice cream and strolled along the pier, feeling quite pleased with themselves. And then, the thought struck them. How are we going to get home? asked Blixem. I wish we knew how, said Thomas. Suddenly, on the pier, appeared a magnificent multicoloured butterfly. So oh, bona, howdy do da, here I am again. Pit a pet, is it true? These metamorphic games I play, seems like I have changed again. Pit a pet, is that you? One and the same, although I must say, I feel a bit strange. It started today. And look, I can fly. I can butterfly. Now, didn't I hear somebody make a wish? Yeah, I wish we knew how to get home, but about... We're really, really, really late for Big Brass Band practice back at Chameleon Creek, said Blixem. 
Don't you remember a thing? Sounds like Alicacy. All the magic words, said Thomas. I know them, I know them, said Blixem. In a flash, flash, Thomas the Jazz Cat and Blixen de Bone were transported back home to Chameleon Creek on Pitapat's magical multicolored wings. Oh, late again, are we? said the Chameleon Creek Big Brass Band leader. You won't believe where we've just been, said Blixen. Oh, hi, same old story. Magical adventures again, I suppose. Well, actually, said Thomas. Listen, laddie, there's no fun and games here in the CCBBB. It's just music, music, music. Now, whip out your instruments and enough of these fancy stories. All right, lads, let's take it from the top. A one, a two, and you know what to do. As Blixen blew her very first note, a tiny silver starfish sparkled to the floor. She picked it up and placed it carefully in her bone case to remind her and Thomas the Jazz Cat of their adventure with Stingray Charles and the time they helped him find his swing. It's the end of the tale and time to be flying back home. I'm going to to Thomas the Jazz Cat and fix him down. Magical adventures again, I suppose. All oh, the magic words. Alexander, Alexander. Got mackerel on ya. Let the show go on. I'll make it come true.